It's the boggarts bring the blood plague. I ain't exactly forthcoming with tasks for you, but I can jaw a bit. What's needed? The dust of the road rises to meet you, Wanderer. Welcome to Star Camp. Then Grim has appraised you and found you of worth. But there is another you must appease, our guide, the anonymous Hierophant. Go to the Hierophant Shrine in our camp and pray, as all travelers must. We have many freedoms and one chain. A traveler lives by his or her hands and guile. You must do the same. Trader Hayden sells items to supplement these skills if you need. Travelers have clever hands, but they are useless without the Hierophant. To receive the Hierophant's visions, we are commanded to pray at their shrines, and there are many who readily complain. May the wind be at your back. What prays before me? An eddy in the river of fate, a cacophony in the song of Armalor. Your presence is unnerving, but you have come and prayed and honored our creeds. You wish to make yourself a traveler? Then ask me for my portents. For true trust, for true compliance, the Hierophant must have no weakness, nor fault, nor lapse. In other words, the Hierophant must be no one. The price to admit you is great. It will take three treasures to balance the burden. First, there is a noble Elfwig Grilrakas staying in Dyden Hill. Steal his medallion. Then, in the nearby mission, claim the pall of the dead St. Edrix. The last are Drog's toothpicks. We have contacted their owner, Gunnar Frode, to buy the items. But you will steal them instead. The daggers used by the fabled Joden Warmaster Draug, though they were not his weapons, as the name suggests. Yes, some final warnings. Elfwig Grilrakas is a fastidious man. He will not suffer an approach, he can see. The pall of Edric lies in his tomb, which is under many eyes. And last, Gunnarfrod is... shifty.
Well, it's always nice to see a passerby. You're the traveler I'm waiting for, eh? Shall we get to business? Yes, I was recently contacted by Star Camp about selling the daggers, which I acquired at considerable risk and expense. So I think it's fair that I change the deal. I want to be paid in full up front. Then I'll notify you where the daggers can be recovered. That said, you can pay me now, and this can all be over with. I suppose you're right. I'd rather not get on the bad side of the travelers. I can part with the daggers for half of what I was originally asking. Is that so? Then I don't suppose I'm going to tell you how to get Drog's toothpicks after all. And before you think to try some traveler trickery, don't think of trying to steal the daggers from me. I hid the toothpicks in the she. To find them, you'll need a map, which is safely locked in a strong box, the key to which is securely in my pocket. Goodbye. Good day. Nice to see you, my child. I have a request. A selfish one, but if you have any... Well, it's Brother Padrick. He's a friend of mine. He mentioned hearing about a treasure only found through a hidden exit from Split Rock Depths. But such a long time has passed and no word from him. I'm terribly worried and I thought you might... Do not feel regret, child. And if one day you should find that time, I will be here. Good day. Mitharu keep you.
Mithop, if you're looking for Brother Wolf or Brother Holt, you will have to wait. Both men are out in the wild. Come, rest a spell.
There you are. What's that? Stupid bloody peasant. Alfred Grillrigas will not suffer to get this sickness afflicting this town. Now be gone. Take your poisoned air and get out of my sight. Oh! This is the three lamps. Plague's put my own grey in the healer's care, but we're open nonetheless. We've had our plague shield, and well, so far so good. But what to do when the plague shield runs out? All right, all right. Dead on the road? This is terrible. We don't want anyone else to die. If the parcels won't buy him, perhaps they are nearby in the fo- A thorough bless you. Be a dear. Find me Brother Fallon and those three past Normally, I'd say it's not as bad as it sounds. Doesn't only half the village has it now. And a bedridden village starves sooner or later. On with you. Get. Come to town for the craft hall. You have completed the task that the Hierophant set out for you, as all travelers are expected to. Well done. What I invite you to join is not a fraternity, not a guild. It is a family, a race, a bastion for those of like mind and talents. All travelers are now your kin, and you theirs. Now, the Hierophant has called for you to serve again. The next task is unique. It involves stealing from one of my kind, Amater, Lord of the Hunt. Fallen member of the Courts of Summer. This is what I can tell you of the task. Pray at the Hierophant Shrine. Good luck.
So, you've come to me again, Shade. You will steal Buru's boots from Amater, Lord of the Hunt, once member of the Court of Summer. They are ancient things. Though their enchantments work only for the Fae, they are still highly prized. There has not been word of the Lord of the Hunt for some time. When I scry for him, I only see portents of his herald, Ergaz. The road to the boots lies through her. You must seek her out in the Shi and learn where to find Amater in the boots. Greetings to you, Traveler. I had hoped I would meet one of your kind in these woods. You seek to rob the Lord of the Hunt Amateur. I wish to see the boots taken from my master as well, but I do not have them. I can only reveal their location to you. To find them, you must find Amateur, the Lord of the Hunt, the one whom I herald. The Lord of the Hunt has secluded himself in Arduith because the boots carry a terrible curse. Amater is the hunt incarnate, and the boots enhance his natural abilities, but the boots urge him to hunt, to take blood and life, and so he locked himself in Arduith to protect all from his madness. Entering Arduith, and he will hunt you as well. No, though I yearn to see my master restored, the curse is too pervasive, and he would wish death on himself for how he has fallen. But in that death, there is a blessing. For he might rise again sometime, and restore the hunt, and free himself from this... indignity. I would warn you that to go to Ardoeth is to go to your death. But if you must obtain those boots, then you... They are with Amater in... Ar the Hollow serves as a prison for Amater, but it is also his killing field. Go. Now... enters here. This is a sealed place, interloper, and you must leave before I spill your blood. It is too late. The hunger grows and roars within me. I must hunt. I will hunt you, mortal, until you can run no more. I, I know. I had only wished to combat the waning of strength that the Summer Fae are experiencing. It is too late for me. But you might... you might... take this. Enough talk. 
Come into my den, little mortal.
You don't just walk with your... Found your way to Castel and Delfric, I see. Shall we begin? Or should we stand around until my hair grows grey? <laughs> 